Hello everyone, welcome back to Transcended Institute. In this particular video, we'll be doing question 4 of the 2023 GCE Biology Paper 2. Let's get into it. So, question 4 reads, Figure 4 shows the respiratory between blood, tissue fluid, cells and lymph. Okay, so we have our diagram here and question 4 A says, Identify structure U and T. So, this is structure U. And this is structure T. Okay, so uh, structure U is the lymphatic lymphatic duct. Okay, lymphatic duct. And then structure T is the venule. Okay, so there are other things that I would like to label like R. So R is the arterial arterial. So this is just a by the way like a must know. You might find it in a different paper and you might be required to label it. Okay and there's also S which has been labeled here as a cell but to be more precise uh, S can be a tissue cell. So I'll just write it here as a S tissue cell. Okay, so we go to question 4B, which says, so 4B1, which says, name one nutrient represented by S. Okay, so what is S, which is a tissue cell? So when the blood is flowing, the blood carries, uh, one of the ingredients blood carries is glucose. Okay. So, glucose. Okay, and then question 4B2 says, compare the blood pressure at R and to that at T and give a reason for your answer. Okay, so we are comparing uh, the arterial and we are also comparing the tissue cell, okay, which is R and T. So, in comparison, R has high pressure because it's being pumped from the, uh, from the heart, okay. So, R has high pressure while blood at T has low pressure because that's coming from the capillaries, okay. So, R has high pressure and or while blood T blood at T at T has low pressure okay and then the reasons, I think I've actually already given the reason when I was um, giving the comparison. So, blood at R has high pressure, while blood at T has low pressure because blood at R is pumped from the heart. So, blood at R is pumped from the heart. From the heart at high pressure while blood at T while blood at T is pumped from the capillaries. Let me just move the page from the capillaries. And we all know that the capillaries are very small, they are very tiny. So, blood from the capillaries has very low pressure compared to the uh, blood that is coming from arteries, which are wider and have high pressure. Okay, and then we have C which says explain the role of structure U in relation to blood circulatory 
system. Okay, so sub uh, structure U is the lymphatic duct. So um, the lymphatic, which collects excess fluids in foreign substances from the tissue, which is then processed through the lymphatic systems before being retained to the blood circulation, helping to keep the body's interior environment stable and protecting it from pathogens. So this just transports waste materials from, um, from the lymph, okay, and helps to keep uh, the interior environment of the body very free from pathogens. I don't know if everything that I have here can fit, but I'll try to make it brief. Make sure you write in your notebook everything that I said because not everything that I'll, I said I'm going to write. Okay. So, structure you collects excess fluids from foreign substances. Okay. Collects excess fluids. from foreign substances from foreign substances okay uh, which is then processed through which is processed through processed through there lymphatic system the lymphatic system before being returned to the blood circulation before being returned to the blood circulation to the blood circulation okay helping to keep the body interior environment stable keeping keeping there let me move the page again and buy some space to write the rest Keeping the interior or the body's interior environment stable. Stable and protecting it from pathogens and protecting it from pathogens okay thank you very much for watching this is the end of question 4 of the 2023 biology paper and make sure you subscribe like this video and leave a comment on which papers you would want to see next